Hey, thanks for joining me today. I'm Keith with the Axeman Video, uh, and today I'm going to be doing a full uh, video walkthrough from start to finish. Uh, well, actually, I've already started. I've already recorded the voiceover, but uh, from the video side of things, from start to finish. Uh, but uh, the client here, uh, WordJack, has sent me a project they need for J.M. Reynolds Builders, LLC. Um, and well, WordJack is my client. They have they are a media full media company. They uh, do websites and SEO stuff, and they do a whole bunch of complicated website stuff. Part of that is video, and so they outsource some of their video work that they need done to me. Uh, so they've sent me this one, and it looks like this video is going to be probably a social media type of video. Uh, it might end up on their website as well. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, basically. Um, They've sent along some information that I need. Um, most of that information is here in the Dropbox shared folder they've sent, uh, and I've copied that already over here to my machine. Uh, so it's there. I've got, uh, that'll have uh, all the images in it, but uh, this is from the email, and um, uh, I've just put some some of the information. Here's the script uh, for the voiceover, which I've already recorded. Yeah, they wanted it to be a male, otherwise I would have been... Uh, asking my wife to come up here and do that for me, um, but I didn't need to in this case. So um, she's great at voiceovers, by the way. Um, she's she's really great. It's always fun because she also tries she tries to do like the goofy voices at the end of it and everything like that. And she's uh, she's hilarious. It's awesome. I should save some of those clips sometime and share them. Uh, <clears throat> but then I'd be I'd be uh, in the doghouse, so to speak. Anyways, so let's get started. Um, the reason I did not, uh, that I already recorded this voiceover and uh, didn't show you is I use a program called uh, Studio One. It's a, it's a PreSonus. Um, Studio One 2 is my version. I think there's a Studio One 3 now. Um, but uh, it's an excellent audio recording um, music creations program. It's, it's excellent for all that stuff. Um, the only problem is when I'm doing my uh, uh, video capture thing, uh, it does, it, it Basically, this Studio One locks up my uh, sound cards, and I can't. It, it wouldn't. It wouldn't have picked up the audio anyway. So I just went ahead and did that first. Um, but uh, so what I'll need to do is put this uh, into my project folder for this project, and I can get rid of that now. Um, and what what I'm going to do now is take a look at uh, the images that they've sent for me to work with. Um, the first thing I want to do is look at the sizes of them. So that's 960 by 540. It's usable. All right, that's okay. Some of these, like this vertical one, I probably won't end up using. And uh, they always understand. They, yeah, this is nice. They sent they sent some stock images as well. Um, so let's see what size stock images. Yeah, smaller, 718, 487. Uh, so some of these might not yeah it's a small these are small stock images uh so the stock images are a little bit smaller but oh there's a good one good size one that's above 12 well it's right around 1280 so that'll work and that's going to be the resolution of these uh videos that i send as a final product uh 1280 by 720 uh let's see here <clears throat> So let's get started. Um, we've got the voiceover there. We've got their logo here and some images to work with. So what I have is, uh, what I'm going to use is uh, Sony Vegas. I'm sorry. They've recently, it's Magic's Vegas now. Um, I can't, I'm still stuck on calling it Sony. I'm sure I'm not the only one. But uh, I have a pro, uh, WordJack start template that I've created. So when I open up uh, Magic's Vegas, it will... It will have all of my tracks, audio tracks and, and video tracks uh, ready for me to go. So, uh, as you can see here, um, I have some effects lined up, uh, some things that I might need to utilize real quick here and there. Um, so that I can just get started right away. And what I'll do uh, to start is I'll bring... I'll bring my uh, voiceover in and put it right on the track, and I'm going to need to normalize it. Um, and let's see here. Uh, I'm going to just bring in this music underneath onto my music track. 
And what I want to do at first here is line up the end of my voiceover with the closing out of the music. And I'm going to need to do this. So I can who really it. cares? There we go. That sounded nice. Or who really cares? So that means I can take the beginning of this audio clip, uh, music clip, and just, um, and just uh, clip it off. So that way, the beginning maybe we'll kind of. When it comes to your home's. Yeah, let's do this. Bump that up. A little. When it comes to your home's. Yeah, there we go. When it comes to your home's roof, who cares? Very nice. Okay. Um, <clears throat> as far as my uh, voiceover goes, naturally, when people talk, even when you're doing voiceovers professionally, I try to try to focus on it. But you'll see that I have some areas here in my voice where I, I I start out a sentence like here's a, here's the start of a sentence, and then it dives down. If we listen to this, the uh, the volume and the last words of that sentence or whatever I'm saying, um, kind of lower in volume. J.M. Reynolds Builders LLC. We so the LLC got real quiet there. So what I'm going to do is open up the uh, video uh, volume, um, and I'm just going to make my little markers around this area here, and right about here actually is where I want to boost up my audio. Builders LLC. We Sounds much better. Uh, and some areas like like this might need a little bit of a boost. Find experienced roofing contractor on your side at JM. Yep. All right. Put one there. So anywhere I'm seeing my my uh, my voice sort of take a dive near the end of the sentence. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of give it give it a little bit more strength in the volume there. Here's a big whoops. Here's a big area with uh, lower volume. And uh, these little markers are nice to use because or you think your shingles need to be replaced. Maybe that was shingles need to be replaced. It's a little much. Your shingles need to be replaced. We there we go. What's this? You covered. Our yeah, it's We've got you covered. Yeah, it sounds fine. They speak for themselves. So it's really easy to just make an area with four of these markers, and then you can either raise and lower uh, a full a full area, or you can grab one of them and make a nice little bending type of, uh, uh, I guess, raise or lower uh, level. They speak for themselves. So Roofer who really cares. Um, and then this is just three markers with a nice little raise for a strong finish. For who really cares. Okay. Um, so that is about all I'm going to do on the audio side of things. I've got my music underneath, my voiceover track nice and strong throughout. So I can close out that volume track and that will stay there underneath. So now let's take a look at the visual side of things. Um, where are my notes? Here we go. Uh, the closing slide, they want this. What I like to do when it comes to your home's roof, you okay, what I like to do is find sometimes I'll put the, the uh, logo at the beginning. Um, but, uh, but I don't think I'm going to do that this time because the voiceover would probably better match with um, with an image of a of, of a roof or something like that, uh, so I'll find a spot in the voiceover where it really hits the uh, the call to action or the closeout. So contact us today, right there. Um, and what I'll do is I'll bring in a solid white color and match it through the end of my clip. And there we go. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is throw in their logo on that. I know they have a white background, so that's why I have, here you'll see, the reason I have the white background down there is because the framing of this logo is not always, you get all sorts of different kinds of uh, uh, ratios. <clears throat> so it's nice to just uh, have a nice solid back uh, white underground uh, underneath it. 
Um, and this is going to be the duration of my clip to the end of the video as well. Uh, what I want to do is leave room for uh, some text underneath. As you see, they want uh, their phone information and their website. So we're going to need to make some room for that. So we'll shrink this down, keep it centered. That up. Maybe right about there. We'll use the grid here just to see if there's anywhere kind of stay right in under this under this first grid line and then we'll see if I can get those two lines of text to stay above this bottom grid line um, we'll turn that back on when we need to um, that looks good um, let's see all right so let's just copy and paste that and we'll enter a text oh, that pops popped in off the other screen there we go um, and I have a closing template default, so I'll pick that, paste that information in. Now this looks awful, so I'm going to make this a little bit more recognizable as a web website um, builds for you. I guess that's fine. Um, and then what I like to do... clean the phone number up as well so it's just consistent and we'll make it bold and we'll also make this bold um, not the www dot and the dot com but we'll make that bold um, so now is when we're gonna need to figure uh, we're gonna move it right in a nice spot there we go I think that looks pretty good um, we probably could leave the text black but we'll see. We'll see if we can match the color of this blue. I mean, I, I guess that's better. What do you think? Maybe red, huh? Well, it's probably not red. Red's usually not a. I guess that's okay. I'm going to go back to blue. I'm going to match that light blue or whatever that is. There we go. And we're just using the color dropper to match the color. Um, so the text, um, the text and the logo have some, uh, the same color. I think that looks good. Um, all right. So now we need to start putting in some images what I've got here is 26 almost 27 seconds so I'm not going to be able to use all of the images they've supplied um, because that would be like a half a second per image almost or something like that as it looks like there's 43 items in here I know some of them are my voiceover and uh, what have I already used in the logo, but um, yeah, so uh, let's listen to see uh, what we've got here. When it comes to your home's roof, you don't want to take any chances, which is why you need a qualified, experienced roofing con. Okay, when it comes to your roof, so let's just let's have like an establishing shot. We got a few images here. Here we go. Here's a nice establishing shot of a roof. And as I, you can see, as I'm dragging this in now, uh, that's going to, I don't want to have to, I'm going to be dragging a lot of images in. And this one will, will place it in there um, for a rather large duration, which, which I don't necessarily want. So what I'm going to do is go to options, preferences, editing, and yeah, see my new image, uh, new still image length is seven seconds. I'm going to drop that down to two seconds. Apply. Okay, so now when I bring this image in, yeah, it's it's about closer to the duration I'm going to have this image anyways. When it comes to your home's roof, you don't want to take any chance. Yeah, that was nice. All right. Um, now I have a lot of cleanup work to do. Not cleanup work, but because these images are stock images, most of them, they're, they're pretty good as they are. Uh, but I have work to do to them. 
But what I want to do is fill in uh, the full uh, duration of my video uh, before I actually go in and, and take care of each one. So, oh, here's another, um, here's another good one. So there we go. When it comes to your home's roof, you don't want to take any chances, which is why. So there's a break there. We'll have these two establishing images break there. Which is why you need a qualified, experienced roofing contractor on your side. Okay, so now we need to get an image, a couple images of, is he going to be? At JM Reynolds Builders, LLC. Here's, a, here's another place where I could put the logo in, isn't it? We are that roofer because. All right. Yeah, let's do that. But this time, um, we'll do a little bit of keyframing. From so it'll start there, and at the end of this clip, we want it to be that large. So this will slowly grow. At J M Reynolds Builders LLC. That's a little quick. At JM Reynolds Builders LLC, we are that roofer because we be very nice. Okay, um, so let's do some. These silhouetted uh, roofers might be kind of interesting because the way that this is going um, kind of gives you that feeling feeling of who who are these roofers silhouetted? Who who are they? We are that roofer. Oh, oh, okay. J.M. Reynolds Builders. They're the roofers. Yeah. That's nice. Which is why you need a qualified, experienced roofing contractor on your side. At J.M. Reynolds Builders, LLC, we are that roofer. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Okay. Now what? Because we've been serving the Concord, North Carolina area for over a decade and because all of our projects boast quality workmanship. Whether you need to have your roof looked at after a significant storm or you think you're shingle. Okay, so we get specific to the area, North Carolina, and then we get specific into their work, I think through here it, and because all of our projects boast quality workmanship okay. whether you need to have your roof looked at after a significant storm or you think your shingles need to be replaced we've got you covered okay well let's deal with this first because we've been serving the concord north carolina area for over a decade okay so these look like images that they must have taken themselves so oops so what I'm going to do, people watching this video are going to maybe recognize these types of homes is, is the idea. So we're going to, we're going to pop in a couple of these homes. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. That's cool. So it shows, you know, it kind of shows them, this is their truck in the area in a, in this is their sign in in the area that's yeah that makes sense what else do i have what's this all right i'm not gonna use that one yet because we've been serving the concord north carolina area for over a decade and because all of our projects boast quality workmanship all of our projects boast quality workmanship okay what do we got here yeah. What about this? Nice. Chip. Okay. So we'll squeeze these to fit in here. Yeah, just leave it. And because all of our projects boast quality workmanship, whether you need to have your roof looked at after a significant storm. Okay, I saw some. Here's some damage. And you know what? I don't know if that's damage or if that's um, just them working on it. What's this? I don't like vertical images, but I want to see what this is. What's that? Is that a picture of damage right there in a storm? Might need to use this vertical image. But we have a little trick that we'll get into um, <clears throat> if we decide to use it. Look at this. Ha! Hail! 
What else have we got? What's this? Uh, these are guys working. Let me make these images bigger. I don't know why I've been looking at them with such small uh, thumbnails. Make them bigger. All right. Let's see what we can do with these two. Whether you need to have your roof looked at after a significant storm, or you think your shingles need to be replaced. Or you think you sh your shingles need to be replaced. And after a significant... Or you think... Let's look, at, look for a good image. One of these images wouldn't be bad. They're replacing it. I think I like this one. Because, um, yeah, I'm not really seeing any images in here that would be pictures of shingles that need to be replaced, you know? So maybe this one, but it's a vertical one. Yeah, it's kind of rough when they send you images that clearly they have a process going on. Uh, we could do like a before-after situation here, but they never specified what's what. And I'm not a roofer. Uh, I could probably make sense of it. Maybe this started... I don't know. They don't really have a before and an after, so I can't... Maybe that's a before. Anyways, I'm going to move on. Um... We got storm images. We're going to use this one. Or you think your shingles need to be replaced. We've got you covered. Our five-star ratings speak for... Okay, and then their five-star ratings speak for themselves. Let's do a... Yeah, that's nice. Um, look how happy that... Well, I don't know why the home is for sale. Um... Uh, if this if this image was bigger, I would just kind of crop it in like this family. Wait a minute. Yeah, if this image was bigger, I would just crop it in. But it's all blurry when I do that because the image originally only is... Yeah, it's too small of an image. Ah, that would have been nice. Let's see what else we got. And maybe a couple of these, like this one. <laughs> Not sure if you can hear in the background, my wife is playing with my son down there. And they sound like they're having an awesome time. Much more fun than we're having right here, right? <laughs> uh, okay, 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 okay. Make a decision. Make a decision. That's the one I wanted to pull in. All right, uh, let's, let's let's fill this in real quick. That after a significant storm, or you think your shingles need to be replaced, we've got you covered. Our five-star ratings speak for themselves. So contact us today to find out what it's like to work with a roofer who really... All right. We've got you covered. Our five-star ratings speak for themselves. So contact us today. That's nice. Uh, nice little finish. Uh... It would have been nice to have that family in there at the end, but that image did not work out, which is okay. All right, so we have our video filled in. Not bad. Um, what do we want to do now? We need to make sure that we don't have any of this uh, stuff on the side, which almost all of these images do, and we want to do the nice little zoom on that. So, um, cool. We'll get started. And the way we do that is by getting into the pan crop um, window, I guess. And we're going to change it all to 16 by 9 ratio. And this will line it up. And then we'll finish so that the movement on our clip kind of zooms in on that roof nice and slow. When it comes to your home's roof, you... Very good, and we're going to go down the line doing this. Um, it's usually nice. 
you don't want to take any chances. To kind of lock your movements. Um, actually, for these ones, I'm going to need to go diagonal. Oh, that's so dramatic. That's so dramatic. Let's bring it, let's start it right about there. And we'll bring it in. Look at this guy. Who are these guys? Oh, they're like superheroes. Let's see the, how the movement is. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And we already have this movement set. Boom. That's who our hero is. Oh. It's J.M. Reynolds Builders. All right. This one's already at a 16 by 9 ratio, but I'm going to go ahead and make sure it is, I guess, out of habit. habit. But, um, yeah, so to start out, I'm going to go in a little more because I have the pixel rooms. Uh, nah, maybe not that much. Yeah, maybe I'll go in a little bit more. And then, let's see how that comes out. Yeah, that's all right. This one will be tricky. Again, it's at it's 16 by 9 already. Of course, I did it out of habit anyways. Um, let's see. Where do I want to start? It's tough, because I want to get this in the frame, but as you can see... Um, I don't really have that much room to work with. If I go like this. Yeah, I guess I'll have to do that. And then we'll finish. Ugh. Oops. And we'll finish like there. Yeah, that worked out. All right, and these images, these are nice. I'm gonna start there. Uh, wait a minute. I'm gonna take this keyframe, I'm gonna end there, and I'm gonna start up here. Same with this one, we're gonna create a uh, There we go. Cool. Okay, so now we're at um, we're at this one. It's a vertical image, so we have a ton of space here. And when we do this, this might be okay. When we do this, uh, well, we have our damage, um, but it's hard to make out. I mean, I guess it's hard to make out that since it's so zoomed in here, it's hard to make out that it, that's a gutter. It might be hard to make out that that's what we're looking at. So what we're going to do uh, blur by yeah, see I already have this set up. So what I'm going to do is take this image, bring it up here, uh, and I'm going to copy it. And this is already the yeah, there we go. Uh, so this one can now go back to the default uh, image there um, and I can yeah we'll leave that uh, as it is just kind of zoom in so the bottom one you'll see has the movement on it but we need to we're still gonna kind of zoom in on that one as well so now Oops, I forgot to do the keyframing there. Go back to default for the start keyframe. And here is the zoom in keyframe. Okay, so now what we have is a blurred image in the back underneath. And it's, um, yeah, let's, it didn't, 
need to be that yeah we'll make it a little darker just to make our our what we want the eyes to be drawn to which is our actual image here um we'll make that pop a little more actually that might have been yeah about somewhere around 75 opacity is fine uh, so now we have a nicer way to look at this ver vertical image. Uh, cool. So here, we will start from down here as far as we can. Come up in on it. I'm going to go a little quicker. Now, a lot of times when you're doing this, you want the pixels, you only want to move a few, you know, 10 or so pixels up or to the side and you zoom in only only a little, a couple of notches there, you know, um, because you don't want it to be too fast. Or you think your shingles need to be replaced. Yeah, see, that was nice. Um, had, if, you know, you go in too fast compared to the that other after line. a significant... See, that's a nice smooth zoom that in. after a significant storm. Or you think your shingles need to... But that was like... Whoa, Quentin Tarantino film or something like that. So now we want to let me redo this one. So want it to be nice and steady. Or do you think your shingles need to be replaced? Much better. Yep. All right. Uh, some damage. It's a nice image. Um, we'll start about here. Zoom in with the uh, pan a little bit up towards the roof. But this image is oh, it's a little shorter. Our five star ratings. Uh, so that that's a little fast. Back back out on that a little bit. Come down a little bit more. Our five star rating. That's still still pretty tough. Let me start over. We want to start there. Okay, that's fine. Just a tad. Our five-star rating. Man, that's still quick. Start over. A serious... Bump. One little one. And then only one up. Our five-star rating speak. There it is. And that's going to be the same for this one. Uh, okay, where we're going to go just ever so slightly, and then a couple pixels over and one up. That might be too much. Speak for themselves. Speak for themselves. Yep, that works. So contact us today to find out what it's like to work with a roofer who really cares. All right. There we have it. So that is our quick and easy uh, promotional video for this company. Now all that's left is I will have to render. Um, and, uh, oh wait, here, let me save this. Save this as, right in here, 5.8. This is their uh, ticket uh, project code that they have numbers there we go so I'll save that as my project file now you can see that that is saved in here uh, so that anytime if they want uh, something replaced or changed I can go open this up uh, which will open this up right where I've left off and I can make those changes um, very important to always save that stuff so that's saved uh, and now I can render it um, I am only rendering these um, for streaming, quick streaming um, capabilities. So 1920 by 1080 uh, is not good for this video, even though that's the project settings I'm using here. As you notice when I was doing this, um, these images are not anywhere near 1920 and 1080. They are closer to the um, 1280 by 720. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna look better and it's going to stream better uh, if we go 
this route. Come on, what's going on here? My mouse is not, maybe it needs new batteries or something. Okay, and I need to put that in the folder where it's done. Right here, the completed folder. Render this. All right, there it goes. <clears throat> Then this will be uploaded to uh, their to a WordJack preview account, uh, so the client can watch it as a preview, um, and then it'll also be uh, uploaded to this uh, Dropbox folder, completed folder, uh, where uh, if the client approves it, then they can easily send it along to the client, or actually WordJack would then put it where they need to do because Wordjack is doing this client's SEO work and uh, website work and all that stuff. Uh, so let's open this up and take a look at the final result. When it comes to your home's roof, you don't want to take any chances, which is why you need a qualified, experienced roofing contractor on your side. At JM Reynolds Builders LLC, we are that roofer because we've been serving the Concord, North Carolina area for over a decade and because all of our projects boast quality workmanship. Whether you need to have your roof looked at after a significant storm or you think your shingles need to be replaced, we've got you covered. Our five-star ratings speak for themselves. So contact us today to find out what it's like to work with a roofer who really cares. Yeah, not bad. All right, very cool. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And if you guys uh, would like to uh, ask any questions uh, about um, some of the methods that I've used here, or if you have any suggestions for me to make my workflow easier, hey, that'd be awesome. Uh, thanks again for hanging out with me. Take care.